States. Our first speaker is Kayla Fisher. I didn't even realize I was meeting you before, sorry. Um, Kayla is herself. She's energetic, she's active, loving, caring, and driven. She loves being around people, loves helping people, and loves to be an advocate. She thinks that talking about herself is the hardest thing she's ever had to do in her life, yet here she comes to do it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Who was I? Sometimes I think my life sucks, but in reality, it doesn't. Sometimes I think my job sucks, but I'm lucky to have it. My life may not have gone the way I pictured it to be, but I have a life. There are things in my life that I regret. I have made many good and bad decisions. It's part of learning. Life is hard, and things are not always sunshine and rainbows, but if you make the best out of the situation you're going through, and it won't seem as harsh. Eventually, you will find the light at the end of the crazy tunnel. I have learned that sometimes it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to say, I don't understand. Sometimes to say that I need to take care of myself is good and not selfish. You can't care for others if you can't take care of yourself. Who am I? I look at all this and think, wow, I want to said this a year ago. I think of how much growth has taken place, how much time, and of the experiences I had to go through to learn this. To start, my first experience was when I had a long-term splint put on my hand, and I couldn't use it. I had it completely taken away from me. I had to learn to say, I can't do this. Somebody please help me. I had to take care of me by going to appointments and doing what I'm told, which was not easy and a learning experience. When I found out my friend had died, I needed me and my space. It's okay to look at the staff at Green River House and to ask for help. Or am I in the wrong? Or is it okay that I feel this way? It's okay to be in a situation that makes you emotional. I've been there many times. I have had to learn patience <coughs> with many things and people. I had to learn that sometimes it's okay to not be me, to be angry, sad, hurt, and even not to be compassionate. Challenges I've had just in the last six years have been instability in every aspect, emotionally, mentally, and physically. I was not taking my meds daily, unless it was convenient, <coughs> which, when is it ever? I didn't even have housing. I wasn't even going to any of my appointments. I didn't know what was wrong with me. How did I conquer my challenges? Started going to Green River House and I started learning everything I could. I at this time learned what my struggles were. I called, made a therapy appointment, and I actually went to it for the first time. I started learning how to manage my life. I made med appointments and went to those. I started to get my life in control, but still had no housing. I started to learn how to trust people, and I became in control of me. My present successes, about eight months ago, I started to look for a job. I looked, and I looked, and I filled out, and I returned applications. Two months later, as I sat in Green River House, I got a call about a job interview for the very next day. I said, yes, I will be there. That was the day that changed everything. They hired me on the spot. I never knew how exciting that could be. I bought my uniform and I set up my training days. Then I got my first paycheck and I knew I was going down the right road, finally. As of about a month ago, I started having my son every other weekend, not just on Tuesdays. About two weeks ago, I purchased my first car. Now, I'm stable on my meds. I go to all appointments. I have housing. I have employment and everything I need to have in life to succeed. I even have an amazing relationship with my son's father. 
not just as parents, but as partners. I have learned so many things in the last six years of being at Green River House that I'm no longer who I used to be. Currently, I work about 20 hours at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm an activist in helping the homeless, being a voice for those of abuse that can't say anything themselves. I'm always looking for new challenges to work on, new things. My growth, my growth is who I am today. Thank you.